Here are 4 Kaden Live tips and tricks for a better workflow, starting with project notes. Now, when working inside of Kaden Live, you have the option to take a few notes and you can also timestamp them. To access the notes, go to View inside of the menu bar and then go down to Project Notes. So over here we have the notes on the far left in my case. And basically, wherever you would put the playhead on the timeline, so let's say I put it over here and then click on this little bookmark sign. You can see it says add project note, click on it. We now have a timestamp and we can write our note. So I'll press enter to a line break, cut here, scene. So you can add multiple notes. Let's say we move the playhead again, add more notes, etc. So more notes added here, so on and so forth. And by clicking on these timestamps, you can jump the playhead. So jump between them. You can also create markers from these timestamps over here with the little plus and several other options. So notes are great for helping you keep track of big projects or even collaborative projects. So if you're sharing the project files with someone else, a few notes so that each one knows on which page you are at the time of editing. Moving on to the next tip, color clips. This is the quickest way to change the color of a color clip and it is simply to double click on it. This will open the clip properties and inside of here you can either use the color picker or simply click on the color over here and choose a different color to change your color clip. Now this brings us to the next tip which is the clip properties. Now the clip properties here give you access to quite, quite a few things. Another way to access the clip properties is to go in the menu bar. You can either go to clip and you have clip properties down here or go inside of view and check on clip properties. So if I grab a clip over here, we have the file information. So the general information, we can see the audio bit rate, the frequency, the, the frame size or resolution, the frame rate, color profile, the video codec, etc. So we see all of that information next inside of the properties, which which are the parameters that we can change. And to change the parameters, you simply have to check on one of these checkboxes. So if you wanted to change the duration of the clip, check on duration and then modify the overall duration. You can do the same for the aspect ratio, the video streams, the color space, color range, etc. So you can basically modify a lot of the properties of the clip. And then inside of the audio properties, we have the different audio streams. We also have access to the metadata. In this case, there's nothing here to show. And that's pretty much it for now for the clip properties. Moving on to the next tip, which is how you can adjust the project profile of the current project to match that of a clip inside of the project. So normally when working with Kaden Live, when you import your clips, Kaden Live does offer to switch the project profile, so the resolution and the frame rate of your current project to that of the first clip that it registers. So in this case over here, we can see that it's asking to switch and we can cancel out of this, but let's say you do want to change the project profile to match one of these clips that you've just imported. To do so, select the clip that you would like to change the project profile to, then go up to the menu bar, go inside of project, and near the bottom, you have adjust profile to current clip. Simply click on that, you'll get a little warning to you know confirm that you want to do that. And there we have it. We've switched the project profile over here to this vertical one. And lastly, a bonus tip, which is a little bit of news or information, depending on when you're seeing this, this video, Kaden Live is coming out with a new audio waveform. So basically they've upgraded the audio waveform. Down here, the reference, for those of you who use Audacity, this is uh, referencing an Audacity display of the waveform. And here is the before of Kaden Live, so the current state, and the after, so what it's going to display as. So we're going to be getting better audio thumbnails and it is also a lot lighter on the system and generates them even faster. And if you're interested in learning more about Kaden Live, you can click on this playlist over here and thanks for watching.